Hello everyone. Welcome to this uh, training session on statistical data analysis using SPSS. My name is Bamsidhar and in this uh, session I would like to uh, deal with one of the procedures of SPSS called as the ratio statistics. Till date uh, whatever uh, uh, whatever uh, the various analysis we were doing on the data it was more confined to looking at the variables either in isolation or with some kind of arithmetic relationships. But if at all we have some kind of a ratio relationship means a division of one with the other and I want to do a comparison of the ratio between the two variables. I am uh, I may or may not be interested uh, in uh, the two variables separately but I am more interested in looking at the ratio between the two variables. One way is I could directly compute the ratio as another uh, additional field, additional variable and after that do the, do the simple uh, analysis or on the other side I can use this uh, ratio statistics uh, procedure of uh, SPSS. So just uh, looking at uh, uh, a brief thing before we execute the ratio statistics procedure of SPSS, it provides a comprehensive list of summary statistics for the ratio between the two variables. So especially if I want a question like this, analyze the weight to the waist size ratio for different sets of people. So I have weight as one variable in my data. And I have the waist size as another variable in the data. So I am not uh, looking at analyzing each of the variables separately. But I want to look at the ratio between the weight and the waist size. And uh, not across but I want to look at it for uh, grouping uh, grouped by non-smokers. Is there any uh, difference in the weight to the waist size for non-smokers, for occasional smokers and for heavy smokers. I want to uh, look at is there any such kind of uh, uh, difference in this ratio. I am not looking at difference in the individual values here. I am more concerned about uh, looking at uh, the significance uh, uh, in the ratio of the two variables. That is where I take the help of the ratio statistics uh, feature of uh, SPSS. So to execute the same, I will go back to the data and on the top of it, I go into analyze in the descriptive statistics itself. This is also a part of the descriptive statistics. We have the ratios here. So I will take the ratio just like any other frequencies and descriptives and all instead of uh, looking at uh, one variable at a time or instead of uh, looking at uh, uh, instead of looking at one variable at a time I would be more interested in looking at the ratio of the two variables that is where I take the help of uh, a numerator and a denominator so probably I will try to capture the weight in the numerator and uh, the waste I will take it in the denominator and I would like to group it based on the smoking status. So I would uh, like to go ahead with that. And uh, as a part of the statistics, as a part of the statistics, I may be more interested in looking at the mean or the median. And uh, probably I am more interested in looking at uh, some dispersion related measures, probably the standard deviation or uh, the coefficient of dispersion some such kind of uh, calculations I would like to do for uh, each of the groups and uh, probably I am more interested in finding out how many values okay between uh, how much proportion of the values are lying between uh, some x and y how much proportion of values are lying between x and y or probably I can say how much proportion of the values are lying between the 20% of the median. Some such kind of thing. 
what is the proportion of values that are lying between uh, plus or minus 20 percent of the median value or I could uh, even uh, talk about uh, the proportion of the values lying between this and this whose uh, waist to hip ratio is more than waist uh, weight to waist ratio is more than this versus less than this something like that we can uh, very well look at so when I am doing a simple uh, continue this is uh, a table that gets displayed for me okay just as a simple case processing we have uh, 133 non smokers 179 heavy uh, occasional smokers and 88 uh, heavy smokers and look at uh, the ratio statistics that got uh, displayed what we are uh, seeing is uh, the mean weight to waist ratio 1.78 1.785 1.8 probably we are not seeing much of a difference in the mean the same thing goes with respect to the median and when it uh, comes to the standard deviation also I see more or less uniformity even the coefficient of dispersion is uh, coming out to be more and more uniform so when we are looking at the mean or a median we know that it's a measure of central tendency so typically we see on an average we see that the waist to hip ratio waist uh, sorry weight to waist ratio should be somewhere is somewhere around uh, 1.74 to 1.78 around 1.75 is the typical uh, ratio between the weight and the waist size and uh, uh, wherever uh, we are uh, seeing the values are much deviating we could uh, typically uh, express uh, express that there is a huge deviation in that in that group compared to the other group so such kind of uh, thing we can do by looking at the mean or the median and even the measures of dispersion also the more the deviation I observe here I am not able to observe any big deviations in the data the more the deviations I observe I can say that there is a lot of uh, inconsistency in that uh, ratio and even if we see within 20 percent of the median plus or minus the proportion of the values that are lying almost 75 percent slightly here and there almost 75 percent of the values are lying between the plus or minus 20 percent of the median which means the higher this proportion the lesser is the volatility and the lesser the proportion the higher is the volatility here we could observe this also the volatility is slightly higher in case of occasional smokers compared to that of a non-smoker versus a heavy smoker which is clearly observed even in terms of the concentration also around 75 percent uh, uh, of uh, the occasional uh, smokers have the ratio of waste weight to waste uh, within uh, weight to waste within 20 percent of the median whereas uh, it's almost that, that ratio goes to around 77 or 78 percentage when it uh, comes to the non-smokers or even uh, heavy smokers so the ratio statistics is a very basic uh, tool instead of looking at uh, one variable in isolation I am trying to uh, look at uh, multiple uh, I mean a combination of two variables joined by their uh, ratio to analyze if there is any kind of a significant uh, uh, difference with respect to the means or medians or standard deviations uh, and even trying to identify the number or percentage of the cases which are lying between in between a certain proportion of the median so these are some of the important things uh, that we uh, look at when we analyze uh, the ratio statistics so uh, we are uh, primarily uh, looking at uh, the coefficient of uh, concentration or concentration uh, proportion looking at the coefficient of uh, dispersion looking at the standard deviation based on which uh, we could do some kind of uh, analysis uh, based on which we could uh, see if the patterns are more or less uniform across uh, the various uh, uh, if the pattern of the ratio is uniform across the various groups of data or you see some kind of uh, significant uh, difference across probably just to just to do it once again instead of let's say instead of smoking status 
I would like to see if the difference significantly exists for various uh, genders just to see if there is any such kind of a difference that exists uh, for various genders so probably here what you could very well see is for mean for males 1.88 and 1.89 whereas for females it comes out to 1.69 and 1.64 so probably here you could see obviously the ratio of weight to waist ratio I could say that for males it is much higher compared to that of uh, females but when we look at the standard deviation or coefficient of dispersion the ratios are not that significant and even if you see here 79.3 percent of the males waist, weight to waist ratio lies uh, within 20 percent of the median whereas the same comes to 81 percent in case of female which is again an indication that the volatility is slightly lesser in case of uh, females compared to the males. So this is how uh, we take the ratios of the values uh, to perform the uh, a very high level uh, summary kind of uh, analysis. If you have any uh, further uh, queries regarding the same you can very well get back to me by giving me a call on the number that I have provided here. Or you can even send in an email at wamsizer at facegurus.com and I can uh, get back to you with the necessary clarifications. Thanks a lot uh, for listening uh, to this uh, session. Thank you very much.